about this. You will see it's in the pipeline. Thank you. <laughs> now they keep that. Eh? Thank you very much. God bless you. Your mother. <laughs> now we've been pushing everything in the pipeline. Everybody you ask is in the pipeline. Everybody is in the pipeline. To the point that now the taps are not even flowing anymore. <laughs> Seriously. And Ghanaians, you and I, we have a way of anglicizing certain English words. I will explain. There are certain English words in the system, but Ghanaians have a way of re-Englishing those words. Hey. Yes, I don't know if it's, it's an expression to use, re-Englishing. But the worst culprits, the hunkers on the streets, let me ask you, what do you think is the English name for chocolate? <laughs> chocolate! Thank you, you know the answer for yourselves. What do you think is the English name for fine ice and yogurt? Fine ice. Fine ice, you never ask. What do you think is the English name for magic powder? Magic powder, magic. And what do you think is the English name for magic powder? This one is very new. This one is very new. This one is very new. Very new. Anyways, let me just talk about one more thing. I will introduce the next act. I just have to keep it crisp. Because we will do this show again. We will do this show again. I'm telling you. And I know that you guys support Ghana comedy. See, the point is, yesterday and today, I've received thousands of calls from you encouraging us to go on. It's not like we don't have the convenience now. We do. But don't worry. We will make our point very soon. Um, because of the rain, I'm just going to keep it very crisp. Let me give you this story. One last time, then I'll call for stuff. Now. When I was on campus here, one of the things that I had the opportunity to do was to join the student work abroad program to travel outside, okay? And um, first of all, was I had borrowed money for my plane tickets. It's serious, when you come to the door, you know. I had borrowed money for my plane tickets, and I'm in the States for two months, I'm not getting any work. Any work, I'm not even getting. I'm telling you. So I saw a friend, and he in turn introduced me to another friend. And the guy said, okay, well, I can help you, okay, but uh, you need to come and work in this zoo. Not as a zoo conductor or as a zoo attendant, but to come and pose as one of the monkeys. <laughs> I took it, cut! <laughs> so I went to the zoo. Every morning I'll wear the costume as a monkey and I'll be jumping from tree to tree. <laughs> I'm using the visitors. And then, one day, Big I kept doing my routine. Now, mind you, the monkey is lighter than I am. So they can jump hold and toss themselves another branch and it's so easy for them. Me, I kept jumping, I kept jumping, I kept jumping. I jumped and I held onto this branch. Because I was heavy and the branch broke. And guess where I fell? Right into a lion's den. <laughs> and the lion started coming. <laughs> now the lion is screaming and coming at me. And I'm shot and the lion is like, no, 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 no. Call me too. I'm going to say that I got a plan.